everyone, it's Janae with Daily Dental Hygiene and today I'm gonna to be talking to the public about why vitamins are such a huge role in the overall health of our mouths. So, today I'm gonna to be talking about B vitamins and iron. This is huge, huge, huge. And almost every time I open someone's mouth and they have some sort of deficiency in B vitamins or iron vitamins, you can see the difference and I can always call out people that I know have certain dietary restrictions. So first off, let's talk about those dietary restrictions. Vegans and vegetarians usually lack B vitamins and iron vitamins. I'm not anything against vegetarians or vegans, but when you cut out massive food categories from your life and you don't supplement those vitamins that you receive from those, you know, that diet, um, yeah, you're gonna be impacted. You can't just like cut things out of your life and then all of a sudden not have any changes to the rest of your body. So B vitamins are what we call in science a coenzyme. So what do enzymes do? They speed up reactions, they make processes happen, they turn over tissues, they allow for you know all the chemical things to occur in your body. So if you're lacking the B vitamins, you're lacking the fuel that is keeping that fire going. So B vitamins are kind of the basis for a lot of our health. Iron, on the other hand, is what I use and what I tell patients is what carries the oxygen through your body, right? So you have your red blood cells and they have iron incorporated into your red blood cells. That brings your heart, your lungs, your brain, your everything uh, uh, oxygen. If your body is lacking iron, your body is lacking oxygen. You can't live without oxygen. How is your body supposed to perform its highest, fun its highest function without having oxygen? That's what we breathe, that's what, that's what keeps us alive. So what I notice is patients that are iron deficient, lots of women, lots of vegan and vegetarians, um, people that have uh, blood disorders, their tissue will look very pale uh, because it's not getting enough oxygen. They'll have very, very deep pocketing, a lot of periodontal disease. They get cavities a lot more easily. What thrives in non-oxygenated environments? Nothing good, that's the answer. Not a trick question. Nothing good hides and lives and thrives in low oxygenated, deep, dark crevices. So yeah, iron's a huge one for that. I notice patients that have B vitamin deficiencies, their tongue, you'll see the papilla start to change you'll start to see things like geographic tongue, different patterns, different you know, um, red lines, white lines. You can just tell that the tongue is not like mine. It's all one color, it's all smooth. There's no areas where there's balding, areas where the papilla is overgrown. It's all the same color, it's not swollen, it, it looks normal. So I can tell from the way that people's tissues look and their tongue, that they are lacking a lot of vitamins. Your mouth goes through a beating on a daily basis, right? Hot, cold, acidic, spicy things. The mouth has to be able to keep up and replicate cells faster than any other part of the body. A lot of times when people have different, um, you know, different things that are going wrong in their body, like a liver problem or a thyroid problem or different diagnoses that haven't even been found yet, the mouth is oftentimes one of the first places we find that there is something wrong in the body because the cells proliferate and they replicate faster than any other. It's like, how often is your are your feet cells replicating? I don't know, definitely not as fast as your mouth. So know that your mouth is a very, very eye-opening way to see what is happening with the rest of your body. So if you notice changes in your tongue, or you know, I mean, I mean, you should on a yearly basis at least, I mean, if you have basic insurance, it usually covers an annual physical every year. Annual phys physicals, you get basic blood work to sh you know show your iron and your B vitamin and your other vitamin levels. So take advantage of that. I found out that I was anemic and I had no idea, and God, yeah, it did affect my body in so many different ways. The mouth is one of the biggest ways that it affects, so please, if you're B deficient, take a Super B Complex. You can get this at literally any store. Um, a Super B Complex basically has B3, 6, 9, 12, all of them. 
in an easy little yellow um, capsule or yellow vitamin. What's great about B, B vitamins is that whatever you don't need, your body just pees out. So you'll notice that your pee will be a lot more yellow, like an electric yellow. Don't be alarmed, that doesn't mean you're dehydrated, it just means that your body didn't need those vitamins, so it peed out whatever it didn't need. So you can't really OD on it. Also, if you're taking iron, take it with a vitamin C supplement. When iron and vitamin C come together, they bind. So your body absorbs and stores iron better. When you pair it with a vitamin C, if you take calcium though, that interacts and it actually stops the absorption of iron in the body. So I take my calcium every morning and at night I take my iron with my vitamin C so that I'm getting absorption from both and they're not counteracting each other. So please know that vitamins 100% affect your mouth. It can lead to so many symptoms, periodontal disease, um, you know, tissue feeling and you know, sensitive, burning mouth. It, I, the, the list is endless, literally. Google it. There's so many scholar articles and I did this. This was my science uh, research project my senior year about how you're not proficient when you're iron deficient. So know that I know a lot about this topic. It is 100% have a huge impact in your mouth. So make sure that if you have any dietary restrictions or you've had your blood work taken or just in general, it's good to take a B vitamin supplement. Um, but Check your levels before you take an iron since it's not uh, water soluble, your body does store it. B vitamins on the other hand are easy to take and your body excretes whatever you don't need. So take a B supplement and an iron supplement and make sure you're always checking your vitamin levels so that your mouth is healthy and the rest of your body's healthy. Take care guys.